Investors Business Daily has studied every single bull market since 1880, and they found that no single bull market has started without a follow through day. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about how to predict the market, or at least try to, when you're swing trading. And we're gonna use a framework that was outlined by Investors Business Daily, so we're just not spitballing in the dark. We're gonna follow a framework that's tried and true to try to predict the market and where it's gonna go next. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this to come every single week. I've also linked all my favorite investing books down below, and there's a great promotion for from Webull that will give you two free stocks if you sign up with the link below and deposit $100. So when trying to predict where the market is gonna go, you're always gonna get people that are gonna try to predict the market based on valuation. And this is really difficult because interest rates play a huge uh, factor in this and where other investments are. So it's really hard to value the overall market just, just based on valuation. That's why today we're gonna look at purely price and volume to figure out what the big money is doing and then we can follow their lead. Before we dive into my computer and run through some examples, let's just go over what a top looks like and what a bottom looks like according to Investors Business Daily. So when looking for a top, we're gonna look for something called distribution days. A distribution day is basically when a major index, such as the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, or the Dow, is down 0.2% on higher volume than the previous day. So this will be one distribution day. What we wanna see is a grouping of these days, maybe four to six of these days, within a, a couple week time frame, so tightly grouped together, when we see a lot of these distribution days together, that means that the big money is starting to sell. And this can be a great indicator to you to start lightening up on your position. This will be one of the greatest ways to try to pick a top, and you can implement this very easily, and we're gonna run through some examples in a second. So now that you've been watching for those distribution days, you've lightened up your portfolio a bit, and the market has crashed. But you were smart, you were watching for those distribution days, you have cash on hand. But now comes the next step of catching the rally, catching the next bull market. So the best way to do this, and according to Investors Business Daily, and what I like to do is watch for a follow through day. So what a follow through day is, how you're gonna spot it, is the first thing that you need to do is watch for a crashing low. This will be a big crashing low, a day where all the sellers come out and it's a big down day. Now, once that happens, you wanna see a, a rally occur over the next day or next several days, but the real day that you're gonna to wanna to watch for is an up day that's 1.25% higher than the previous day on higher volume. This will be your follow through day and this has to occur within about six to 10 days of that crashing low. So once you've gotten that follow through day, that's your signal to say, okay, I can start adding some more risk, adding some more long exposure, but you're not out of the woods yet. Once you have that follow through day, you've added some more exposure. Now you need to make sure that the market doesn't roll over again and take out that crashing low. About 25 to 30% of follow through days fail. So be aware of that. If you start to see the market roll over after you get that follow through day and test or even take out that crashing low, that means that the follow through day is now invalid. So you might need to lighten up to your portfolio again and reassess the situation. So obviously timing the market is extremely hard and there's a lot of people that say you can't do it and that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna argue with them. The reason of this video and the purpose that I'm trying to tell you this is if you're gonna try to do it, this is probably the best framework that I've found and will really make it easy for you to give you some actionable steps to try to time the market and to try to outperform the market. So if you're gonna to try to do it, these are the best steps and the best way that I have found how to time the market. So now that you know what a distribution day is and what a follow through day is, let's just jump into my computer so I can show you some of these great examples and how they can help you either selling stock before a crash or buying stock, getting long, coming out into a rally, coming out into a new bull market. All right guys, so let's go over both distribution days and follow through days. So right now we're just looking at the S&P 500 and this is what we're gonna use as our index to find our distribution days 
and our follow through days. So the first place that, that's, that let's look at is the most recent crash. Let's zoom in on this right here. So the first thing that we're gonna look for is distribution days. Remember, these are days where you're gonna sell off about 0.2%, but the volume on that day has to be higher than the previous day. So let's zoom back in on this period right here, leading up to the crash. And this is a daily chart, by the way. So now we're just gonna basically go through these days and look for volume where the volume is higher than the previous day. So we can start right here this day was obviously down more than 0.2 percent and the volume on this bar is slightly higher than this day then the next distribution day we can look for is right here the volume on this bar was significantly higher than this day then the next distribution day was right here this volume was higher than this day and this day was down about 0.5 percent so still more than the 0.2 percent requirement then the next distribution day was right here. This was on higher volume again, and then we can see increasing volume again right here. So the big takeaway from looking at distribution days is that the days where selling occurs, even very minimal selling occurs, is on high volume. That means that big money is selling on these days and taking money out of the stock market. That's why we need to be aware of them. So now let's look at for a follow through day. So this is where these are your signs to start lightening up when you're seeing these distribution days start to get clumped together in a very short period of time. Remember, this is a daily chart, so this is about a two to three, two to three week time period here. So then we start to see obviously the big selling. So now let's look for a follow through day. Remember, a follow through day is what we look for to catch the stock market bottom. After we've already bottomed, now we're looking for a place to jump back into the stock market. So let's zoom it back in on this crash right here. And now we're gonna look for our follow through day. So this was our crashing low day right here. Then we had a nice rally off of it the next day. So this is when we start to look for a follow through day. We wanna see a follow through day happen probably within uh, about four to six, maybe 10 days after this crashing low. But 10 days is kind of pushing it. Really four to six days is the, uh, the, the best time frame for that. But we got one actually the very next day. So right here we bounced off this is not a follow-through day because you can see we have volume that's lower than the crashing low day but this day is a follow-through day we can see we have a high volume day it was higher than the previous day and this day was up more than 1.25 percent we actually closed up 1.64 percent so this was a valid follow-through day and it came exactly one day after the the initial bounce off the crashing low so this was the day to really get invested this was your your tell your follow through day to say okay i'm going to get invested because we have the follow through day and your point of exit would be if we maybe would roll over and then take out this crashing low and fall lower than that then this follow through day would be invalid and remember that happens about 25 to 30 percent of the time let's look at another example of distribution days and follow through days so now we're looking at the S&P again on a daily chart, and this is the 2018 crash. If we zoom out, just so you can see how big a crash this actually was, it was right here. So now let's zoom back into that. So the first thing that we're going to look for again is our distribution days. So right here, this is where we're going to look for our distribution days. And again, we want to see about, about around five distribution days. So the first one we can see is right here. This is where we have a volume higher than the previous day was this day. Then we can look for our second distribution day, and that would be right here. Again, we can see we have volume higher than the previous day. This is our second distribution day. Our third distribution day was that right here, I think. Nope, not right there, because we can see volume was lower than this day. So keep going. Uh, this was our third distribution day right here. We can see we have volume much higher than the previous day. Then keep looking again. We want to see right here. This is our next big distribution day right here. This was our next big distribution day. And I think that was about four distribution days within a two week time period. So that really alluded you to that the big money was selling and putting money out, pulling money out of the stock market. And you can see we really didn't go anywhere, but these selling days were on pretty high volume. And that was, that was a tell to start taking some money out of the stock market and reducing your position size. So now we have the crash, but you've already taken money out. Now we need to look to get back in. So we've had our 
crashing low right here. We had a strong rally off of that. That's our start to start looking for our follow through day. And this follow through day is not perfect, but this is the follow through day that I remember using in 2018. And it's right here. This day, it was, a, a, I mean, a big rally. We were up about three and a half percent that day, but the volume was exactly equal to the down day. Now, remember, we want to see it be higher than the previous day, but because it was so similar, it was almost exactly the same, and it was such a big up day, I counted that as a follow through day, and it turned out to be the right move. But again, if it failed and we rolled back over, this would have been our point to jump out and we can say that our follow through day would have been invalid. So now let's look at the 2008 Great Recession and see if we can find our distribution days and our follow through days. So this is really the top of the market. So we're gonna look for distribution days in this period right here. So the first distribution day is right here. This day we're actually down about 0.3% and we can see we were on higher volume. So this is the first distribution day. The next one, is right here this day right here this day we can see we are about this one right here so we're higher in volume than the previous day so that's distribution day number two now let's look for number three looking along the volume is it this day yes it is this is day number three this is a big big volume down day right here well, probably almost two to three times the down volume of the previous day. Then we can look even further and distribution day number three might be this one or one of these. These I think are exactly similar. You might be able to count these as distribution day, but this is 100% a distribution day. And then the final one will be this day. This will be your last distribution day your fifth distribution day and really give you the sell signal. So now after all that carnage has occurred, let's look where we need to get back in. So this was an interesting bottom because it was not a crashing low at all. It was just a cascading sell off. We didn't make a, a chaotic low in the 2008 sell off at all. This day it just decided, all right, I'm done selling. Now it's time to rally and we go on to stage one of the best bull markets of all time. We actually had several follow through days. So the first one was actually right here. This day was slightly higher than this day, but this was really our first follow through day. Then we got another one right here. Again, we can see higher volume than the previous day and another one right here. So we got about three follow through days within about a one to two week time frame. So you can definitely tell that the big money is buying and buying aggressively because we're seeing that rise in volume on the up days. So that was your, your confirmation to get back into the market. And again, if we rolled over and took out this low, that would be your signal to say, okay, the follow through day or days are invalid, time to reduce exposure again. All right, guys, welcome back. Now you know exactly what a follow through day is, how to sell at the top through distribution days and some examples so you know exactly what to look for. And you can implement this strategy, this investors business daily swing trading strategy on how to time the market for yourself. Now, if you like this video and learned anything, definitely subscribe. Also give the video a like because it really helps out the channel. Now, I hope I see you in the next video, but until then, my name is Aaron, peace.